Yeah, hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're looking after yourselves. As you can see, we've got the whole three camera setup. Uh, yeah, we're back with another episode. Um, this is like what? Well, you know, um, this might fit into different things, but we're just kind of like a free, um, like fun episode. Uh, you might recognise the person I'm speaking to. She's been on the podcast before. She's been on the Student Guide. She's uh, spoken about her own podcast that she's got with a friend. Um, as I always say, I don't like doing introductions, so instead I'm going to hand over to her. Shania, how are you doing? Uh, could we know a bit more about you? What you're up to uh yeah since we last spoke um yeah 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 hey jeffrey <laughs> what up pick up the mic fans um hi guys i'm back um what have i been up to hey eh? uh the last time i was here i was working at the express yes yeah <laughs> maybe yeah maybe yeah. i feel like it i, I was like i was working at the express um I no longer work there. <laughs> I was a digital reporter and then I moved on to lifestyle reporting and then my contract ended. I was meant to get a promotion, didn't happen because don't do journalism, kids. <laughs> um, didn't happen. So now I was unemployed for a bit. Now I'm working again back in journalism for the Southwest News. So Bristol, Gloucester, Devon, Cornwall, Plymouth. Okay. And there's one more, and I'm missing it. <laughs> but I can't remember. Somerset. Okay. okay. Yeah. So across the six regions of the southwest, okay. um, that's who I work for as an audience writer. So mm. I write all things TV and mm. celebrities, and I do affiliate writing, which is in a nutshell, like reviewing a product mm. and making customers click on it, so then we get revenue mm. from from the yeah mm-hmm. from the click. Okay. So, okay. doing some stuff no longer do the podcast unfortunately mm. uh, well we were meant to come back and then uh, we kind of got messed over are we allowed to swear on here? yeah you can swear on here yeah we got fucked over <laughs> <laughs> we got fucked over there, uh, a company reached out to us and they were like hey do you guys want to use our studios for free and we'll help you edit for you and everything mm. and all this like grand great stuff um, all we had to do was show up mm. and then they ghosted us so yeah, yeah, that didn't happen. Oh, I graduated. Yeah, that, that, that too. <laughs> I graduated. So I'm a master's graduate now. So that's why we don't do our podcast anymore because mm. we don't have a space that's free. Mm. I want to specify that's free mm. um, to do so. Yeah. There are podcast opportunities, but you'd have to pay for it, um, which is not in my means right now. That's I'm all. in debt. That's yeah. all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I guess a round of applause to you uh, for all the incredible stuff that you've been up to. Um, yeah, so we, we've got like some quick fire questions, uh, that I can ask you, but feel free if you want to flip the question back, Uh um, you can ask me as well. Um, we have 20 (laughs) questions, uh, so we're going to try and get through as many as possible. Uh, we're going to start off with, if you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be and why? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I don't know. You know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be lenient, and I'll say uh-huh. they can be dead or alive. Oh, okay, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was yeah, gonna yeah, ask. Yeah. I was gonna be like, any be specific? I feel like everyone says Jay Z, and mm. I would love to sit down with Jay Z, mm. but I feel like he's a hypocrite. Okay. So I don't necessarily want to. That's controversial. Don't quote me, <laughs> um, and don't come for me. Okay. Um, he is. A black radical in mm. all his excellence, mm. but he also is a billionaire, mm. so it's hard for him to connect with the people mm. in the way that uh, black culture is progressing. Mm. But I do respect what he has done for the black community. Mm. That's what I will say on that. That's moment. what you say on that. Okay. I would sit down with Oscar Wilde. Ooh. Okay. And ask him about all the sex parties that he did <laughs> back in the day. If you didn't know, my favorite genre is the gothic. Okay. I love gothic texts. Mm. Everything to do with gothic literature mm. is my shit. Okay. And um, thrillers mm. for films, love them. Okay. So like everything that's coming out recently really reminds me of like gothic mm. textures and stuff. Um, textures, text. Mm. <laughs> so, <dumb>. um, <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite book is Dorian Gray. Mm. I just enjoy how he's an anti-hero I think that's my best form of storytelling is mm. when the main, the, protagonist, the main character is an anti-hero because mm. um, it forms a balanced argument about um, humanity and morals and different mm. things like that um, but 
the controversy around Oscar Wilde is <laughs> what really like invests me into that story. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would sit down and talk to him about his sex parties okay. and <laughs> his uh, journey becoming a prominent figure in literature. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Thank Very you. Cool. Thank you. What about you? Uh, oh, that's a tough question. Um, I, I would say, um, ooh, uh, you know, maybe Alexander the Great. I'm a bit of a history buff. Um, oh, okay. But I like that. Um, I say I like. It's interesting because he's very, like, he accomplished a lot at like 26. Mm. So obviously it's like different times. Like he was fighting wars and I'm just like, well, I'm not 26 yet, but I'm just <laughs> chilling. I'm not fighting wars. But um, <laughs> yeah. to accomplish. I would like to hope <laughs> that you will be going you know, there, you know, uh, given the government that we've uh, got. Yeah. You but know, you never know. Um, Putin and that. <laughs> but there's also the comment section as well. That's a, that's a whole, whole, like, geez, man. Some people, are, that's a whole other. Thing. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be really interesting to speak uh, with him on just like, I guess, like, I guess for him, obviously, like, tw- like people didn't live for as long as they do now, but mm. it was still interesting to see like a 26 year old or like 27 year old accomplish all those things. So yeah, it'd be interesting to just wonder, like, I guess, what, like, how he felt about it, his thinkings, like, what he feels like life is like now. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to just speak to him about that. Actually, no, no, I'm going to change that. I'm going to change it. Scrap that. <laughs> Scrap that. Um, I'm going to go for uh, Sun Tzu because uh, there, there's a book called The Art of War that, like, a lot of business people talk about, about it. Book. They say it's, like, really good on, like, it's a war book on, like, strategies and, like, how to, like, I guess, use certain circumstances to your favor. Mm. But it is really interesting because people use it as, like, business owners, as entrepreneurs, as, like, other people for like their personal development as well so yeah I would definitely say Sun Tzu just to like because yeah his story is pretty cool Um, so I definitely would recommend and recommend the book I haven't read it but I would recommend uh, I will, I will on the list I have a read I was yeah. going to say I'll have a listen I can't have a listen I have a read I've, I've heard of the book but I've never, mm. I've never read it yeah no definitely recommend definitely recommend okay, um, thank you this is one down there but uh, it's one someone actually asked me recently so I think it's really cool mm-hmm. Um, you are a Marvel fan yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you a really tough question. Okay. So based on so I guess context, we we do speak outside. Like it's we, not this we, is this isn't the first <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the first time we're speaking since we recorded the episode. No. Um, but yeah, based on our friendship, yeah. which Marvel character? I, I'll, I'll be lenient and say if you can't give one, then mm-hmm. it has to be a combo of two. But which Marvel character do you think I represent? the most or that you see you see, like when you think of them you would say when you think of me you see them oh yeah. that's does, a tough question does X-Men count we, you can, anyone in anyone in Marvel anyone in Marvel oh that's such a tough question oh, you gotta let me cook a little bit you gotta let me like <laughs> think oh I'm not gonna say Black Panther because you're black I'm gonna remove Every essence of that, even though I know you're a true African king. Mm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I will not, I will not say that because you don't give me T'Challa vibes, mm. you know. Um, I don't think you're like as silly as him anyway, mm. um, because he makes terrible decisions. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't say anything to do with Wakanda, the Black mm. Panther, them, them, them sides. Um, gonna rule out anybody from the Avengers either even though I think you are a sweetheart like Captain America okay okay you have um such a great voice that could lead people Mm. so you could be you know Cap okay um but I wouldn't say Cap you're not a dickhead like Tony (laughs) so I wouldn't I wouldn't say Iron Man um no one likes Hulk so if you do um (laughs) No one actually likes him. Who, the, he, who says Hulk is my favorite? Do you know what I mean? I, I get that. Uh, maybe, maybe Spider Man. Okay. Miles Morales. Ooh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Like, you're, you're like your stature mm. gives me him. You know, mm. like, and I feel like you're quite nimble. Okay. I don't know, but you give me nimble vibes. Well, you know, my back is in pain. So I, I, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Uh, I'm, I'm nimble to an extent. To uh, an nimble extent. to an extent. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, but I was also thinking of like. Professor X, because I think you're you're quite knowledgeable. Like okay. I can come to you and I'm talking to you, and you're very like very wise. Okay, um, you're an intellectual. Okay. So I would combine Miles Morales with Professor oh, X. X. Yeah, okay. Xavier. Okay. I don't know if that means you'll be a, a spider <laughs> <laughs> webbing 
like, cripple. <laughs> but I don't know how that will combine and look like. Okay, okay. In the physical. Okay. Would you prefer to be up and running about? You know and I, feel, like, I, I feel like I prefer to, to web swing. But like, also, I've said like Spider Man in London just doesn't work. There's like, as soon as you leave central London, there's, there's not much to around. trees we have so many but trees not like, I, like New York has skyscrapers I just feel like <laughs> you're just like we have like five we, it, but what, as soon as you go past that like come on we come have on, loads of on. trees oh, come on we have <laughs> strong on. trees come a on. lot of them are just oak trees come like on. no <laughs> and they survive okay but, but come on yeah, like, yeah. it'll be rubbish spider, I'm telling you Spider-Man Maybe, um, Spider-Man London just doesn't work it's like but if you take the webs away or like his mobility away from Spider-Man mm. then he's not really Spider-Man is mm. he oh that's hard then mm. But you just gotta move okay. then. I you just know? Move. This okay. is not your place. This is not my place. This is not your origin story. I guess you I'm need going to, to New York. I'm going <laughs> to New York, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess for you. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, right? Yeah. This is really, a tough question. This is a tough question. Did my answer make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. makes sense. I really liked it. Thank you. Um, so much. Ah. Okay. So I think. I think I'm gonna name specific characters that mm-hmm. I think you are like so I think for you you have aspects of specifically in Across the Spider-Verse the Jessica Drew uh, so like the Spider-Woman that's like mental Spider-Gwen mm-hmm. I would say it's you um, I think you're you're very maternal you're very protective of like people and you look after them and you support them mm-hmm. I know like in the film it does like it's not portrayed as that but she, you know, like she as a character that is who she is like uh-huh. um so yeah so i see that with you um but i'd say as well um who else would i say hmm I don't know, I'm just thinking of like Marvel. And what's worse is I'm a Marvel fan. Um, <laughs> and then, like, all of a sudden, you forget yeah, who's actually the universe. Yeah, it's mad. Um, it doesn't have to be a woman as well. Okay. I would say, I'd say as well, you know, I'd say you've got, and people might be surprised, and you might even be surprised by this. I'd say you've got like Doctor Strange vibes. I think oh. you've got Doctor Strange vibes. I'm surprised by that. Um, Am I a dickhead? <laughs> kind of no. um, I'd say it's more like you are very, like, you're, like, I know you say that I'm knowledgeable, but you are knowledgeable as well. And I think you're very unconventional, not like unconventional in a bad way, but like I think it's like you don't, like you see a problem or you see a situation and you don't limit yourself to that. Like you'll find a way to either like, like I know with Doctor Strange you can like change the laws of nature and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I feel like with you, you do the same thing of like if there's like a problem or something in front of you, you do like say you, you're you not just like okay cool this is the problem like I guess we're all dealing with it you're just like yeah. let's figure out something around it um, oh, I so appreciate yeah. that so yeah I'd say those two I'd say those two oh thanks yeah, I appreciate welcome. that yeah, I would also say I have the like feistiness of Gamora mm, I can see that right see right that. right, right. <laughs> but thank you I would have I would have put Gwen or um, Dr. Strange yeah. Stephen I would have put Stephen yeah. But I can see him. Yeah, thank you. I, I do like him. Yeah. <laughs> do um, you like those characters? So. Okay. Uh, I did a good job. Yeah, you did. did. Thank job. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question is, uh, what is your go-to karaoke song? Oh, do you know what? I, it changes every okay. day. Okay. <laughs> every single day. You know, you're just like listening to a new song and like, I would kill that uh, at karaoke. Yeah. Go-to though, mm. consistently... I don't have one. Okay, okay what, what's, <laughs> so your, gonna, what's your song today? What's my song today? Oh, do you know it was um, You Got It Bad by mm-hmm. Usher because of uh, his Super Bowl yeah. performance. I, like, I always listen to Usher anyway, mm. but I just like recently downloaded, because, um, you know, on the train you yeah, don't have yeah, connections, so I like downloaded his songs um, and I was just listening to it and I was like, I would kill this mm. so much. <laughs> but also there's this, if I'm going to do a ballad, mm. There's um, this song called <laughs> After the Pain mm. by Shirley Brown. Mm-hmm. It's a very old school song, like probably released in the 70s, 80s. Um, very dumb, <laughs> very <laughs> dumb song. The premise of the song is um, her man does her dirty mm. and she forgives him, okay. basically. And she's like, I'd rather have a piece of a man than no mm. um, man at all. Okay. 
which is really dumb. Go and film it. <laughs> Don't do that. Honestly, like, if that was me, I mm. would rather just let him go. Mm. Um, and she basically is like, don't blame the guy. He's just the man. And mm. it just gives an excuse to men. Um, yeah. And she's like, God is going to bless me. It's a six minute song. Mm. And she has narration in it. It's okay. fantastic. Okay. Um, it's like, you know, it's just those songs that your mum listens to. So you mm. listen to them also. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I just love doing everything about it. I love singing the okay really strong soulful notes and then mm. giving you the sultry narration afterwards mm. but I do not believe in it I, do, okay. just, I just want to put that out there I do not believe in it I'd rather be single than suffer yeah. just don't suffer just because you want to have a partner please exactly. please, please. Um, and then rap song would be uh, Tupac's Him Up mm. I have asthma so <laughs> it's really hard to keep up with Yeah, but I'm going to do it every yeah, do it, do it. time <laughs> every single time I'm going to do it Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's my go-to. Okay. How about you? Okay. Um, you know what? It it was unintentional. Mm. But last year, every time I did karaoke, I ended up doing a rendition of uh, TLC's No Scrubs. Um, I love No Scrubs. So yeah, so it's No Scrubs would definitely have to be like... Damn, who, 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 like, yeah, do you believe men? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, I just don't know, because it was just like... Party after party. Like, it was just like, uh, so like my workplace had a karaoke party. Um, my sister's workplace had one. She invited me. And it just kept on ending up. And I promise, like, I, was, I wasn't like rushing to do it. Uh, so the first time they were just like, oh, no scrubs. And I was just in the room. I was like, let me just be in the karaoke room. Like, I might sing, I might not. And they were just like, ah, oh, here's the mic. Take it. And I was like, uh, okay. Um, and then like a, a colleague of mine was just like, yeah, I'll join in. Like, we can do no scrubs together. Um, so yeah, so I ended up singing no scrubs. And then it was just like different times last year it just ended up being that No Scrubs was yeah. getting sung by me uh, at different occasions with different people so I was just like I guess No Scrubs is my song um, it does like you said it does get really repetitive towards the end like it the, does it the, really does like, just singing do, uh, do you put on the left eye voice when you do it because I do when well, that fell I, I don't know because they set up people set up the karaoke machines I can't <laughs> I just, I'm just there for the vibes. I sing. Um, but I'm not sure if they do. I'm not sure if they no, do. No, you. Like when, oh. you're, when you're doing the rapping part. Yeah. Left, left, left Eye is the rapper of uh, the group. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I just do the whole song. Okay. I just, just do like, even with my colleague, just we just did the whole, the we did the whole, <laughs> we did the whole thing. Nice, um, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Nice. But it was really nice. Um, so yeah. I've got to see it now. Let me go again. Let me go again. Yeah. You, you heard it first. You heard it, you first. Heard it here first. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, rap song, rap song is hard. Um, because, yeah, there are a few. Like, my heart, obviously, I know people will say the person is controversial. But, like... Yeah, Kanye. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what it is? It's, it's Gold Digger. It's just, like... It's so good. It just moves a crowd. Bro, it's so good. It's so good. And it just moves... Like, the, like I think um, my brother was saying, it's just, like, you hear the... You don't even need to hear the words, but, like, the intro bit, and you're just like, mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's, this, yeah. Is, this is happening. This is happening. Um, so yeah. So I, if, if I've got to put one, I'd say for a rap song, it's got to be um, Gold Digger. Yeah. Gold Digger. Is yeah. that your favorite rap song of all time? Or oh wow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Top. I say it's in my top ten. I don't, top ten. Top five. I don't know if it's in my top. I don't know if it's in my top five. It's, mm. it's in my top ten. Um, but to be honest, like a lot of Kanye's, like especially his earlier stuff, yeah. I would be in my like top five. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's in my top ten. It's in my top ten. I would put... Um, what's the song called now? I always forget the fucking name. <laughs> oh, what's the, sorry, I need to stop swearing. No, you said, as soon as you said, you can swear. I'm <laughs> so, I swear like a trooper. It's really... It's a bad habit, guys. <laughs> if my mum's listening, I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, all falls down. Oh, is probably I would probably replace Gold to go with, with that. But uh, also, Diamonds from Sierra Leone ooh. has a place in my heart always and forever. That's true. Yeah, that's true. it's a great song. That's a great song. But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now I was even going to say something, else, but it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. I think. I think. I think in my top five, I might swap Gold Digger out and put the the glory. Because, uh, okay. yeah. Or The Good Life. I'll put either the, good one of those. Is good. The Good Life is good. Good Life makes a great party vibe. Mm. You know? Like, if you put it on in a party, everybody everyone's is... Everyone's a, they're loving. They're yeah. moving. Okay, so what do you think about listening to controversial artists? Ooh. 
And on that bombshell, we're going to end the podcast. Uh, thanks everyone. We'll see you later. Um, you know what it is? I, I think, like, my, so my brother does, uh, he runs like an independent record label. Um, oh, sick. So yeah, so he's like in the music space. Plug uh, it, what's it called? Uh, EBI Records. Nice. Uh, I make music for him on there as well. So Ooh, definitely check you it out. make music? Yeah, I make, I, I, I did not know yeah, this. Yeah, I make music. Uh, Man of many skills yeah. you are. Um, but yeah, I need to go back to it. He wants me to make three songs this year. I am yet to make one, but it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Coming soon. It's coming soon. Um, but yeah, I feel like he, so we spoke about this and he explained it very simply and was just like, you got to bear in mind that mm-hmm. with all these artists and stuff, the the main, not the main issue, but the thing is like, they're not the only ones that work on this song. Yeah. So he was just like, okay, you might not like, I guess the biggest one to speak about would be R. Kelly. Yeah. Because he's got a lot of good tracks. There's a lot of stuff that people will be like, you know, <sighs> yeah. play the parties. <laughs> um, I think even, funnily enough, my sister was, I think she said at her, maybe it was like, when she was in secondary school, like early in secondary school, they had like a disco and they played Ignition and she was just like, she didn't get what Ignition, like she didn't, she just thought it was literally just about like, Turn on the car. Turn on the car, yeah. And then she was just like, afterwards, she was just like, no, man, it's this guy, you're playing Ignition. Yeah, it's about pure wild. sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit yeah, wild. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but like... with like, the toot, toot, beep, beep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I feel like, on a completely separate note, with artists like that, I feel like R. Kelly, like, uh, what's his name? Jason Derulo doesn't do what R. Kelly does. So like, Jason Derulo is yeah. like, his, the sexual innuendos are very clear. Even arguably like Flo Rida, it's very clear. Like, you, you can... Can I make it a yeah. little bit? <laughs> I'm just like... Eh. Okay. Keep um, lips together. <laughs> with, I don't know the words. Um, but yeah, I feel like with, like... With our, especially with, like, 90s music in general, there's a lot mm. more, like, we're gonna, like, put it under the radar. You think so? I feel like... I feel like you play... You could play at a party, and people, even, like, with, like, older people, they might be like, mm, this is okay. Mm. But I feel like... Like trumpets, I say, like music wise, really nice, really great, great yeah. song. But I would never, if there was a party where they were like, especially older Nigerians or my parents, I would never play trumpet. <laughs> oh, my parents. Because um, I was just like, it's, it's, it, like, it's, nah, I'm good. Yeah. But I'm just like, you know what? You, there's certain things like, I feel like my parents might not get ignition, like the meaning behind it. So I'm just mm. like, ah, you could get away with it. <laughs> um, so, so in like uh, Nigerian music, mm. is there not any like, vulgarity in the songs uh, so I'd say like with earlier music mm. they're definitely not necessarily vulgar but just like rude and like not like rude like the message is rude but it's more like the, like if they're cussing you in the song they're, they're cussing you in mm. the song um, so it was more like very like just like out there I'd say now um, like I think every, like even like um, Afrobeats that can be a whole discussion in itself. Yeah. But um but even with that, like I think it's nowadays it's a lot more like it is kind of there, but they sort of still got that like R and B thing that it's not like blatant or like throughout the whole song it's not I see, don't cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am a firm believer of removing the art from the artist. Mm. Um but also, I just love music. Mm. Like, I love good music. Mm. Um, so, and there's music that has the connection to mm. me. Um, a lot of, I feel like I, I soundtrack my life mm. a lot. Okay. So a lot of these songs that have come from controversial people, it's like to remove that is removing a certain memory mm. or a certain association I had, mm. either good or bad. Mm. Um like you said, there's so many other people in the songs. In R. Kelly, I don't think he gets commissioned anymore. So mm. like, let me let me be fine. But now I do listen to like, um, I don't know if you've heard it. Um, his song seems like you're ready. Mm. Basically, basically goes, um, it seems like you're ready, girl. Are you ready to mm. go all the way? Yeah. Um, and it's not a call and response song. Mm. But it definitely gives off, I'm going to force myself on you. Because mm. it seems like you're ready, but it, there's no confirmation mm-hmm. that you're ready. Okay. And you're giving me my, your consent, you know? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Because now you know, like, <laughs> the history of it. Yeah. Because before it was like, oh, yeah, like, sexy song, yeah. like, sexy times. Yeah. Um, and now you know, like, his allegations. And you're like, oh. This is my age. <laughs> <laughs> this... I can't listen to this, but then mm. I heard um, some music recently 
I was just like randomly on my playlist. I just I just haven't deleted anything. Mm. Um, and I was just like, damn, these songs are hit. so good. Like hit after hit and his features on other people. Mm. And can I not listen to the songs he's written for mm. other people? Because that's complicated. Um, with like Chris Brown, for example, I'm not a massive fan of his music now. So it's not as much of like a headache mm. to avoid him. I think the last song I liked was um, with Drake. What's called I don't know now? The song you're talking about, yeah. but I don't know their name. What song was the name? So annoying. Because <laughs> it's a massive hit. Like, anyway, that one. That um, one. And Michael Jackson. Mm. See, me and my boyfriend had this argument all the time. <laughs> all the time. He's yeah. like, he touched them kids. And I was like, you don't know, you don't know? if he touched them kids. Uh. That's between him, Jesus, and the devil. Mm. So wherever he is now, I'm sure he's reaping the the punishments mm. or if he did do it mm. you know there's no smoke without fire mm. but there was an FBI investigation on the man mm. and they didn't find anything okay um, but he is rich yeah. as hell so he could have paid them off yeah. there's there's so many different answers and theories and then you have some people coming out and say he did this mm. with extreme allegations mm. where it's like how could you even make that up that's mm. sick if you did I don't think they did mm. I'm not saying they did you can't quote me I'm not saying <laughs> they did or they didn't make yeah. it up but if they did make it up that's sick and then you have people who actually experienced a long mm. time with Michael Jackson and was like no he never touched me like I don't know what these people mm. talk about um, yeah so yeah. it's uh, it's a hard pill to swallow mm. um, Kanye yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> so just stop if you're listening which you won't be <laughs> just stop like just sh- yeah. sh- shut up Mm. Shut up. Like, you don't need to say things. You need to comment on everything. Especially if you're not knowledgeable on it and you're mm. just chatting. Don't mm. chat for the sake of chatting. Mm. Don't speak just to try and be heard. Mm. Um, because your music speaks for itself. Mm. Um, he said some crazy stuff. Mm. Um, and I just don't know anymore. But I will... Yeah, man, it's a tough one. Yeah, I will continue listening to Diamonds from Sierra Leone. You've got six six songs. Uh, I can't lie. But yeah, I think it's... I think like you said though, it's just like separating the art. One, separating the art from the artist Um, and two, like you mentioned, like other people worked on those songs. Yeah. You you can't just be like, I'm going to... Because it's even like, like, I'm not saying with films it's the same thing. It's Mm -hmm. even arguably like, are you now going to say you can't watch certain films because... I know you don't like the actor. The your the the director's been cancelled. Even um, like I guess this spun into like a conversation about like cancel culture. But um, like we did an episode with someone, and we were asked as a team, like, what do you think about like cancel culture and the whole space around that? And I said it's got its benefits, but I also don't agree with certain aspects of it. Yeah, because I feel like like you mentioned that sometimes people are very quick to like cancel people, and mm-hmm. then it turns out, like you said, like okay, the story was false yeah. or things weren't happening. Yeah. And then, like, I guess a clear example to date would be, uh, like, the whole thing with, like, Jonathan Majors yeah. and that case. Because people were just like, as soon as the allegations came out and, like, he was, uh, I don't know if he got arrested for it, but, like, when the allegation came out, like, people were just like, get rid of him from Marvel. Like, yeah. Marvel, we want to comment. And then, like, people were just, like, saying their two pence. They were just like, oh, you know, like, if I'm Marvel. And yeah. I think, like, a lot of, like I guess reputable and good people were mm-hmm. just like hey look like this has happened let's just see what, what goes what, on yeah give them um, a chance give them a chance like l- th- there's a court case none of us are lawyers none of us <laughs> know what's happening in this case yeah. let's not make any assumptions and obviously like when things like the case was decided and a verdict was made mm-hmm. yes like things have changed now and like he's been removed from Marvel projects and other films that he was in have been pulled from like which is such a thing because he's an incredible He's a, he's a really good actor. Um, Him, the last season of Loki, mm, he he did really good. Ate that up. He mm. ate it up. Like he was, he's so um, captivating, mm. and he can morph into these different personas mm. that are so far removed from his actual personality. Mm. Yeah, the man's got issues. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's got issues, and um, he's not void of. Um, uh, Jonathan Majors I was saying yeah, that like, yes, he's yes. he's not void of nah, I didn't even think of the word that I wanted to say while we were taking a break <laughs> <laughs> but he he's not void of doing anything bad mm. like we're all human I think people forget that we all are human mm. and 
just because you do something bad doesn't automatically mean that you should be fired mm. like if in a personal like in your personal life you just work a nine to five and steve from his your office you know like cheats on his wife mm. or uh they have an altercation together mm. um similar to jonathan majors and the woman that he's with um that wouldn't necessarily come out mm. you know or i don't i'm not saying that's not a uh, a good thing that it came out it's a good thing it came oh, out and you know punishments were made but in regular life would he lose his job mm. probably not mm. like just because he's got, unless that's inflicting his work in regular life it doesn't yeah. that doesn't work like that so when you look at celebrities because we have meshed together their their job mm. and their personal lives mm. there's no separation there's no border there's no boundaries mm. that we can get can be created so that's where cancel culture is problematic because there's no boundaries between the the human the person and their actions and a person's job and mm. their qualifications and what how they should be mm. in that space like philip um schofield right mm. he blended work and his personal life mm. um and then he was with a younger colleague not only grooming them but you know, having an affair. If he just had an affair with a colleague, mm. complicated because he works for a production company, yeah, he could be fired. But because it was to the extent of that it was, especially mm. with grooming a, mm. a, child, a child, yeah, he deserves to be fired. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But um, if he was to cheat on his wife with a random man on the streets, no one would care. Okay. <laughs> no one would care. Mm. He wouldn't be fired. Mm. Um, so I just think there's levels of being conscientious of how we're treating these actors mm. or musicians and different things like mm. that. Like just because you don't like what they personally do doesn't mean that you should just get rid of them. Um, but who am I? <laughs> who am I? Um, I'm just the girl who wants Jonathan Majors to play as <laughs> Kang. But um, um, yeah. <laughs> No, I really like it. Um, mental health is really important to us to pick up the mic and we love to share resources that can support your mental health. And that's why we are so glad to have today's sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get you started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule live appointments when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't right for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you. More scheduling flexibility and at an affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash pick up the mic. I've also linked them down below in the description. So again, that's betterhelp.com slash pick up the mic, M-I-C, uh, and start your journey today. Oh yeah, going on to the, the next question. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, uh, oh, oh, I actually like this one more. If you oh. could bring one fictional character, so they don't necessarily have to be like a comic book character, any okay. book, film, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to two part this. So the okay. first one is, if you could bring a fictional character to life, who would it be? But then I'm also going to put a two-parter that if your answer is different, mm -hmm. if you could bring like a fictional world to the Ooh. real world, which would it be? Oh. Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah. Um... Oh, because the whole fictional world is so wide. Yeah. <laughs> it's so wide. There's so many universes. Mm. To put it frankly, I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be a superhero one. Um, yeah. to, like I'm, 
I've always wanted before um, the boys came out. Mm. I've always like when I was younger and watching these things, I was sort of like, what happens to the extras? Mm. You know, like what happens to just the regular people on the streets that have to kind of deal with that? And mm. do you know how many buildings would be destroyed? Yeah. We already pay road tax. Like, it's too you're pay, you're much. Pay, you're paying for superhero damage. That, that's, <laughs> super, that's crazy. Well, and who's paying for them? You know, it's an interesting one. Because um, we're not, we, we, pay, we would pay for like merch um, mm. and things like that. But then they would basically be classed as civil servants. So do we also then pay tax? Because why am I paying tax and merch? Mm, it's a weird one. Do you know what I mean? Because like with so like with stuff like the Avengers, mm. like in the comic books, typically Iron Man is the one that like finances them and their living styles. And then yeah. there's like a government department with Shield who are given money. I guess arguably, like you said, they're literally it's tax money, uh, taxpayers' money that's going to basically like sub create stuff to, pr- to protect the world um, yeah I've said like I'm sorry like even before like Infinity War happened and half of the, not even like half of the world but like half of every living being in the universe in disappeared the universe. for five years cool let's just let that settle for a minute yeah. um, I was just like imagine like all the stuff that happened even far from home when when Tower Bridge basically got like Blew up by drones. Do you know what I mean? I was just like, right. <laughs> I'm like, if you're living in London and you see this on the news, and I'm just like, we don't... London in general doesn't really deal with a lot of superheroes in the MCU as of, like, towards and the I'm beginning. And I'm so glad. And I'm so glad. I'm like, <laughs> if I was living in New York, I'm like, what? I'd be pissed. How many like, things are getting mashed what, up? I'm ah! just like, what, 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 what's the point? What's the point of saying in New York? What's Maybe? the point? What's the point living it? It's just basically a dumpster zone of, like, Everything that's going to happen, happen. yeah. And so I'm just like, a casualty. I'm, exactly. Yeah. I'm just like a criminal. I'm just like, so if I was a criminal, I'm like, if you commit a crime, you're either going to get dealt with like a street level Avenger. So, like, if you're lucky, maybe it's like <laughs> Spider Man. Maybe on a good day, like Captain America's just walking down the street. But yeah. like, in, in reality, you're probably going to get someone that's just like not taking, not taking it easy. So, you got like Daredevil, you got like yeah. Luke Cage, the punch. I'm just like, in all honesty, I'm like, would I really? What? Like, I, like, I was just like, I don't, especially in some of these universes, times are tough. But I'm like, is it worth like getting beaten up? Do you know and what then, I mean? Like, you, you go into hospital. I mean, <sighs> if there was, there was, a sh- a sh- how do you say the word? A sh- terrestrial. Extraterrestrial. Extra- extra- there we go. <laughs> um, if there was, you know, aliens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> From a, that come to us, yeah. we'd be fucked. Yeah. They'll be they they would look at us being like these these humans are fighting each other. We don't need to be here. Mm. Like, what is capitalism? Mm. Why do they have that? Mm. You know. Um. So, but we would be fucked. So mm. then I'm like, do I want superheroes just mm. in case? But then the likelihood of that even happening, yeah. you know. And mm. but then also, if they're superheroes, then they will be aliens. Mm. Like it's this kind of the package deal. It's a package deal, you know. So I don't really want that. <laughs> um, so no superheroes, okay. Um, okay. and that includes anime superheroes. Um, no, no. So I'm trying to. I can't because I, I can't give you a straight answer. <laughs> I'm, giving, I'm like knocking, knocking out, out the ones I don't. Like. Uh, no Game of Thronesy type dragons wild dragons, oh, dragons White Walkers, like... bro. I'm broken this life. <laughs> Could you imagine me in Game of Thrones? Just, I'd be one of the paupers <laughs> on the street catching disease. I would even die from the dragons or the White Walkers or the wars. Yeah. I would just be dead. I would <laughs> famine, yeah. no clean water. Just people it's, just stabbing each other it's, in the it's streets. Crazy. It's crazy. I people, couldn't survive back in the say, day. People say they're just like, no, it's, it's so cool. Like they've got dragons, they've got magic. I'm just like, nah. But you got, you got to be real. The average Joe is not going to end up with a dragon. Like, how many people end how up with you're dragons? Gonna, you're not going to be Khaleesi, okay? Thank you. You are not going to be Cersei. You're Thank not going to be Jon Snow. Thank you. You're not going to miraculously survive. You know what I mean? We're lazy. Putin said, we're going to war. And Reese was like, okay, might have to sign you lot up. And you lot were like, making TikTok trends yeah. about it. Do you know what I mean? There's no way. Mm-hmm. We're unserious. Yeah. As a civilization, we can never go back. Yeah. We can never go back. And I don't want to go back. No one wants to, man. I like baths. Mm. <laughs> I like going to fast food mm. restaurants and mm. watching TV. Um, it's a very privileged life. I'm very aware that not everybody can do that. Mm. But um, 
I like it here. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I like it here. I don't want to go there. Okay. Also, I'd probably have to be like a prostitute. If I wasn't a... Because I can't be a soldier. I'd have to be a prostitute. Because what family am no, I being go born into? Wall, you could go on the wall. Why would I do that? I mean, it's not great. It's, it's cold. Not, it's, not, it's not a better option. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'd rather be a prostitute. <laughs> I'd rather sell my body. <laughs> Not doing that. Um, okay. Knocking out basically <laughs> that. Um, would I be in Harry Potter, like a magical wizardy mm. type universe? Um, a bit dead, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it depends. Because, like, for me, I would say my only one would be uh, what's it called, like Percy Jackson. Okay. Uh, one, because I'm a big Percy Jackson fan. But two, I'm just like... Why is everybody I know a Percy Jackson fan? Is, I'm telling you, if you haven't read the... If you haven't watched the TV, I should, I'd say... No, I'd say read the books first. But that's just the... The books are nice, but I'd There's say... There's so many of them. But start now. Do the original, just the first you, five books. Can I... Can I... Can I <laughs> is this a safe space? <laughs> can I share? Um, <laughs> I don't like... Um, fantasy teen yeah. book. I guess I'm going back. <laughs> I can never get into like fantasy YA. I've yeah. always been a romance girly yeah. or like a horror girly. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I've just never like I read uh, Game of Thrones doesn't count because it's not like a mythology mm. or YA. Um, but like I read that and I was mm. like the one book will do I'd rather watch it mm. and when I watched Percy Jackson the film mm. I was like it was a bit whack <laughs> nah, the, the, the TV show now is a lot better I will say like it does it's more realistic one and it does the characters a lot better mm. um, but yeah the main reason I'm just like I'm sorry I feel like the, like it's I mean it's not a chill life like they get hunted by monsters mm. until they're a teenager uh, until they're an adult which okay. isn't great and most of them don't live to adulthood so yeah. again not really great um, I'm just like I'm sorry like some of their powers are sick like well you don't want superheroes or Greek um, dragons yeah, but, but you just, want Percy Jackson yeah, and all the like, mythology like, powers yeah because I'm just like so, so look I've said it like if you're a child of Poseidon, you can you can swim <laughs> underwater. You can like you can breathe. Sorry, you can breathe underwater. You can't get wet. So imagine, like today, it was raining, pouring with rain. You can stop yourself and anyone that you're touching from getting wet. Whether this is you going into water or not, you can communicate with all. You're basically almost like a a cheaper version of Aquaman. You might not be the king of the sea, but you can communicate with okay. any fish animal. Um, what else can he do? He has he has. What else has he got? There's a whole list. But like, <laughs> no, he's, he's got like all this stuff. And I'm just like, that's sick. If you're a child of Zeus, you can fly. I'm sorry. Okay, it's- but like, let's just say you're just a regular, regular person. No, but and every- all these people just have these things. But you don't see it though. So there's this. So they have a cop out way of doing it. They say there's this thing called the mist. So like regular humans can't see like the dragons. What's the point in that then? But yeah. So like, if you were a demigod, it kind of sucks. But I mean, if you're a regular person in their universe, like it's perfect because like mm. to you, you might see I don't know like a dra- like there's a bus crash when in reality it's like a massive animal. Like they killed a massive animal. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, it's sick. But like, the, the, he has like a... So he had a spin-off series all about like the Egyptian gods mm-hmm. and then he did one about the Norse gods and yeah. they all do like different stuff. I think he's also did... I don't know if he kept doing it, but he did a book on like, uh, even like some like Nigerian gods um, so linking to like specific tribes in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Classic. But, um, but yeah, it, it's, for me personally, I just like it because it's like very like... The characters are funny. It's like yeah. a nice, chill world for the, for, for the most part. Like, they it definitely, like, gets... Not really, like, dark, dark <laughs> but it gets kind of dark. Okay. Um, but yeah, if I had to go for, like, a real-world one, again, because I grew up... Because, actually, sorry. I need to circle back. If there was a Mother <laughs> Mystic one, um, like, I don't know if you ever read it, because uh, it's it is kind of gothy, but it's got that mythical element, so I don't think you... Would have, but Skullduggery oh. Pleasant? No, you, never. Um, never so, heard of it. Yeah, so, so it's like, a, so I read it through my teens, and then the writer came back, wrote some more books. Um, mm-hmm. It's Again, it's a mythical setting. It's, think of it like, to me personally, it's more, it's like a more, not necessarily adult, but like it's a lot more like, leans towards more darker themes than like Harry Potter does, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. So like it's, uh, so like literally the main character is this person called Valkyrie Kane. She's, um, she finds her dad, sorry, her uncle, dies mysteriously 
She then goes to his funeral. She sees this weird guy who's like wearing a hat and scarf. It's like in the middle of, I think, I don't know, but he's weird to see him wearing it at his funeral. She then finds out this guy is a, he's a magician, mm-hmm. but he's literally a skeleton. So oh. he's got no lungs, no brain, I think, um, but like no skin or like organs and stuff. That's he's literally crazy. just a walking skeleton. Um, and you find out that basically he was a human. He mm-hmm. like had a normal life. Uh, he then died. His wife and child were killed. Um, excruciatingly by this guy who has the ability to like, inf- he, he touches people and inflicts pain on them. He mm-hmm. killed Skullduggery and then due to like, again, some I do, I do also say sometimes there is that like, oh yeah, magic brings people back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she's then brought back to life and as a skeleton and like, it's very interesting because it, to me, it personally deals with a lot of like heavy themes. So like, yeah. uh, uh, Valkyrie, when it starts, she's in, like, I think she's like 12. By the time it finishes, she's like 17. Mm-hmm. She deals with like, um, like losing really close friends. Um, her, she has like, it's really, it gets really dark. So her sis, so she has like her cousins, basically one of her cousins figures out that she's, they have this thing where they can use reflections okay. so they can like, they inscribe on a mirror and they can use their reflection to like live there or like be them for a moment. And mm-hmm. then they basically will send the reflection back will then absorb all the memories of the reflection. Valkyrie basically was just like, I don't want to go to school. I want to like experience all these cool, because he's also the skeleton guy called Skullduggery. He's a detective. So she's just like, I want to join him with cases. I want to help him do all of this. So she lets her reflection like live out her life. Like the boring stuff okay. with like, well, I guess it's, it's like, it's harsh to say family stuff, but like family, <laughs> school, <laughs> friends, um, all that stuff. The mundane. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it gets really dark because literally, so the reflection is just like, I don't have anyone to, who's also a reflection who gets like how I'm feeling so the reflection then convinces one of her cousins to like come over and gets her cousin to basically create her own reflection mm. um, and then kills the like real version of her cousin and lets the reflection live out her life and it's the worst thing ever because Valkyrie knows uh, and then like there's a whole thing where she like figures like she there's a there's a whole like arc with it so like without going into too much detail but it gets really <laughs> spoilers <laughs> you just tell the whole story but... um, yeah, it gets really dark because like literally so even in like the later books that he did like it's really weird because the mm. sister's just like oh like because uh, they were twin sisters so she was just like my sister was really close with me and now like she doesn't really talk she's like it seems like she's a different person yeah. and Valkyrie feels like so depressed because she's just like oh she's a, she really ultimately yeah. is a different person um, but then it also deals with themes of like um like I guess depression um, and like re- it, it gets really dark but it so why do you want to bring it to you know what no, I wouldn't want to be in it but I'm saying <laughs> okay. like it's, was, oh no nah, like you that. were said it with that um, but no nah, the one that I said in a, in a real world that would work which I only like it because it's like spy stuff and I'm, I'm spy thrillers interest me is oh. um Alex Ryder because that's like that was my like cool childhood book that I loved I don't oh, think sweet. I would do well as a spy I do generally <laughs> nah generally there are some things that he does and I'm just like it is pure luck that he has survived and it is plot armour that is bringing him mm. through like he got shot at he's Damn. been he's been I think he was drugged he was poisoned he had to like he ice skate uh, ice skated he snowboarded down a mountain on an ironing board and got hit by a van didn't die. He got injured, but didn't die. Um, he you has... gotta bring him with you because he's you know basically immortal. You, yeah, you know what it is? That's, yeah, that's, 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 armor. Yeah, that's the I, one character you have to bring. That's the one character you have to bring. Yeah. Um, and just hang around with yeah. because if he doesn't die, you don't die. You don't Hopefully. Die. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'd say mythical, probably Percy Jackson, and in nice. real life, probably Alex Ryder. Nice. Um, okay. Yeah, what about you? What about you? Um, well, thank you for. Educating no, me on that then, because I'm now intrigued to to read those books. It's, it is a lot. There's like 13 books. Oh, Skulldugger, okay. But I would Maybe say, not then. I would say start. Ooh. No, he has a grimoire. He has so he did like a book. Uh, it's, it's a Skullduggery grimoire, which is basically like a summary of like all the books before the very last book. Okay. I would say read the books that he like read. Like when he restarted the series recently, mm. read from there. But then if you just read the like summaries of the older ones and if you want to like read it or like learn more detail, um, then you can just get those books. Um, okay. But yeah, it, it is like for a teen book, it is heavy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's good. It's really good. It's really good. I feel like YA books have mm. the most um, relatability mm. regardless of like the context or the theme, mm. um, the, the storyline, not the themes, because obviously the themes what you relate to, but the context of it. Mm. Um, 
like a lot of more adult books, mm. I feel is so detached because mm. you have kind of that, um, you're trying to no longer have that childhood wonder and mm. imagination and um, experiences. Mm. It's now being the mature mm. and I've already done this and I'm just going through this situation, but I should know better because I'm an adult. Whereas an, as a child, it's more forgiving, you know? Exactly. Um, I want to, I want to give a cop out answer and then a <laughs> a, a potential answer. Okay, okay. So my cop out answer is, um, I believe that fiction <laughs> should never come to the real world, nor Ooh. a character, because okay. the point of fiction is to explore mm. and um, kind of what was the word? I was trying to be what intellectual now. I can't remember the word. <laughs> um, it, it, it's the point of it is to defeat the laws of mm. this world, mm. the real life. Mm. Like it's to, if, if, if anything that was fictional that was here, I feel like that would stunt imagination. Yes. Yeah. And okay. I like to escape this world and be in somewhere else. Okay. And I wouldn't want that place there because then it would be inflicted by this mm. world's problems. Um. So yeah. That's my cop out answer. Yeah. <laughs> um, a answer, I, I was thinking um, potentially One Piece Ooh. because okay. not necessarily a character, mm. but because I would leave Brook. <laughs> but you mentioned the skeleton and that yeah. made me think of One Piece. Yeah. And I was like, I would leave him. Okay. I don't want to see that. <laughs> That's okay. creepy as fuck. Yeah. Um, I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> I would I would love to explore with them. Like mm. I the sense of adventure. I think we don't other than just traveling, and I think traveling is even gotten um is ruined by mm. the social media because of the luxury and the glamorous lifestyle that you have to do instead of just like backpacking and exploring the world. Um my dream is to explore. So okay. if I was to bring a world here, it would be one piece and so I can join the crew. Yeah. I would be Nami probably. Okay. Um, because I'm a I'm a weak bitch. <laughs> I am a coward. I will lay there and die. And I would just try and manipulate Zeus to um help me yeah. along the way. That's a little cloud friend if you don't know. Um I'm just like I'd be cute, you know? Okay. Um okay. or I'd be Robin. Um okay. Her powers is okay. Mm. It's not like the best. Mm. I wouldn't say she's the strongest mm. um, of the the straw hats, mm. but she is one of the most intellectual mm. and she reads, you know. I'd be the wise reading yeah. person yeah. on board um, and I'd have Sanji make me nice food. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd flirt with Zora okay. every day. Okay. Like <laughs> That's it. my baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I will say though, uh, before we go on to like the last two questions mm -hmm. is, as you mentioned, um, I've heard someone say it and I use it all the time when I talk about One Piece is they said that like One Piece is the only anime where you're not trying to like save the world or like stop a, no. ma a major villain yeah. it's literally guys just like hey we're going on an adventure and we have to um we have to fight people along the way it's not our choice exactly. but we have to to get to where we want to exactly. go and that's what's great about it because yeah. I believe if the Straw Hats wanted to, they would just avoid conflict at, mm. at all times. Mm. But a lot of the conflict they do put themselves into is to save other people, like mm. um, to save an island mm. from a bad guy, which is great because most of the time Luffy's just like, I want to eat here and <laughs> <laughs> you're not making me eat here, so I'm going to beat you up. And yeah. then you like uncover the nastiness and the horribleness that actually is there mm. that the society is being inflicted by and it's just like wow these are great people mm. who their first in, um, initial motivation and thought is either hunger or greed <laughs> or just like something silly and yeah. fun and then it gets real deep and they're like wow these are amazing people mm. and then you just carry on mm. and you just keep going and like it's never boring yeah, yeah the pacing is slow yeah, I get yes, it. Yes, it's yes. awful. I understand. <laughs> but it's one of those stories where it's just like, wow, how can someone think of to mention Game of Thrones mm. again, like to to imagine a whole different world. Mm. Think of whole different languages and types of people and culture and different um just like things that could pop up, like the imagination of um Oda. Yeah, Oda, his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh is 
impeccable yeah. um to have the story going for as long as, mm. as it is that is a true genius of a, mm. a storyteller like i aspire to be a writer like that like mm. just have create my own world and like have that plot that is consistently interesting and progresses and it doesn't it doesn't feel stagnant you know mm. like every new arc of the straw hats feels like we're progressing mm. somewhere but yeah i was thinking like hunter hunter or like death no i don't want death no because i'm mm. you know do you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> or like uh <laughs> Even Spy Family, love it, but I I still wouldn't want to live in. You, do. you know, I think Spy. I feel like Spy Family could be a vibe. I feel like only it, if you're part of the family or the know, friends. Like you know, if, you're you're if, you're world, if you're just living in that world, it's, it's not the best. No, but, there's like a war going on. You, know, you, you, you can find a way to be friends with the family. I guess so, but you wouldn't know. I guess if you have the knowledge you that you do now, yeah. but you're not going to be friends with like would a four be, year old. Would you, you know? a, would you be a spy? Or would you? I guess what? How would you want to fit in that? If you were to be in that world, how would you fit? Would you be a spy? Would you be an assassin? Or would you be somehow linked to the school? Um, I think I'd just be Bessie says Anya. <laughs> <laughs> she is a vibe. Okay. That, that's that's my home girl. <laughs> that's my bestie. Um, I was thinking like, oh, would I be a spy? But then no, because you can't really get close to mm. Lloyd other than his friend. And I forgot his name as a true friend. No, I, I forgot know. his name. No, He's just kind of. <laughs> um. And um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be an assassin because mm, it's, eh, a it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. And I just like, as we, I don't, spoilers, but as mm. we saw in the new season, mm. she wants to kind of get out of that anyway mm. and really just can't. Mm. Um, I'm assuming as a spy you can because, mm. you know, you're not kind of dedicated by blood. You're mm. kind of just there to save the world. Yeah. Um but yeah, okay. I would, I would, I'd be besties with Anya and yeah. just like chill out and we'd kick my girl to the side. I it's, forgot her name, but I'm her brethren because she's annoying. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call her Lucy. I know okay. her name's not Lucy, but yeah, she right. acts like a Lucy. Yeah, do like do a Lucy. you know what I mean? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> with the interest of time, because uh, yeah. also uh, I'm going to have to do the outro as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just one more. W- the last question mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to have to give you. 30 seconds to answer so oh, okay. 30 seconds on the clock from when I finish the last question is what would the title of your autobiography be 30 seconds on the clock go damn uh, behind the smile ah mm. okay uh, tell you why okay. my <laughs> ex shout out to you um, <laughs> we were best friends for a long time and he used to say this quote to me mm. um, and he would say no words but a smile full of meaning mm. um, because no matter how much struggle or pain or sadness I was feeling, I was always smiling. Mm. I'm a smiley person. If I'm seeing someone, I'm a, sm- I'm a smile. Mm. Um, and when he was getting to know me when I was younger, that's the first thing that came to him when he was understanding like my story and mm. how I grew up and what I have to go through in life. So mm. if I was to think of that, it would be... It would, be that. it would be that. But that's not what my, my actual book that I'm planning to write Ooh, is okay. going to be called. Okay. So it's not going to be an autobiography. I'm not that narcissistic. No. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's not okay. that. Okay. You you shall not know because then I actually have to do it and I don't know. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know if that will ever happen, but okay. like oh, the it's actual... Gonna, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. It's but I'll, 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 I'll plug it when... When it's ready. When it's ready. When it's ready. Mm-hmm. That's cool. That's cool. What about you? Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be that dramatic guy. And uh, I do have it because we have pick up the mic merch, which I will talk about in the <gasps> outro. But I have the shirt on, so I'm going to take the headphones off and I will quickly show off. Uh, that's sick. Um, you guys got merch. We got merch. Yeah, we that's got merch. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, it would be. Oh, you know, because there's like three cameras. I'm trying to. Like, which like, one that you're gonna? But yeah. Um, if not, I'll put up the. Actually, I realised me talking, you can't hear me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll put up the picture. But basically, it would be the quote that's on the back of the top, which is Sig Parvis Magna, which um isn't my quote. It's an uh, it's a Sir Francis Drake quote, but it means greatness from small beginnings. Oh. Um. So for me, when like I have incorporated that quote both personally and for Pick Up The Mic which is why uh, again I'll talk about the merch in a minute Um, (laughs) but yeah that's why it works for this because um, for me personally that quote just summarises like I Mm. guess everything and it summarises where I envision myself of like yes things might not work out in the beginning things might not go to plan I might not get where I might not be where I think I'm going to I want to be or things like that but like 
greatness will come from what I'm doing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like today. It doesn't have to be tomorrow. It doesn't have to even be like three years, but yeah. it's going to come. I just need to keep being persistent, like keep trusting God that things are going to work out and just put myself out there, so to speak. Um, ah, so yeah. Snaps, 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 snaps. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Um, it so yeah, will so happen. Yeah. So Sig Parvis Magna would be like, again, I need to just check because technically like that is... Or if it's not that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 like it definitely means that. Um, but even, I don't actually, no, I'm going to... So yeah, so you will have seen like a weird cut. But essentially, uh, I'm going to quickly load up because the full quote, um, Parvis Magna, uh, Oh. Quote. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, so the full quote as it's written, it means that basically, uh, thus from small things, great things come. Uh. Rather than just like greatness comes from small beginnings. So for me, that's like really good because it's saying, it's. I guess, even like the literal translation is a lot more thoughtful because it's just like, only like great things come from small things that happen. So from your small things, Great things can come from it, um, but yeah, that would be my that would be my name of my autobiography. Damn, um, yeah. that's impressive. Yeah, um, but yeah, we come to the end, uh, and uh, we have to go because we're gonna get kicked out in fifteen minutes. But um, it's been great speaking to you, Shana. Yeah, it's um, been wonderful. Thank it's, you. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Always a um, pleasure. It's been it's fun. Good, it's good to have you back in the podcasting space. I know you're not podcasting yet, but we know it's coming soon. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Keep out for a keep, full eye. Keep uh, some somewhere somehow. Some, somehow. Reappear. Um, Reappear. Um, yeah. Keep an eye out on the space. Um, yeah. But yeah, also give a plug because you you do have your episodes out still. Yeah. Um, so yeah, give a plug. How can people find out more about Four Y? Your podcast. Um, you can Google Four Y exclamation mark question mark or question mark exclamation mark <laughs> <laughs> podcast. Um, it's on. It's linked to my Instagram. Um, so it's Naya underscore King King double S. Um, or Shania King if you're typing me in um, yeah I write stories for the southwest region mm. but they're still cool stories so check them out mm. um, podcasts come back soon and yeah we'll see how things go and mm. whatever happens happens but keep an eye out for me yeah. do uh, big things she also she, she's done interviews and out in public so if you're looking for someone that, to do that uh, yeah um, shout me shout, shout, out, shout out hit uh, me up yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah thank you to your wonderful audience for coming back if you like this episode like on the subscribe is always appreciated if you want to make sure you don't miss this episode or any of our other episodes please make sure you click the notification bell at the bottom of the video if you want to um yeah we'll go to the merch because i've been talking about that like madman but if you're interested in getting some merch and receiving some stuff as i am currently wearing we're actually working on some tops so they will be coming out soon we've got this one this like pick up the mic one which i'm not going to stand up and show on the camera but <laughs> it will be a picture it will be a um, picture so yeah, you can check that out. Uh, we're going to have at least one design of this, but also for the separate channels that we've got, which is now also a good time to plug them. So as we mentioned, we have three separate channels. So we've got the gaming channel, pick up the controller. We have the anime channel, Sam's Days of Anime, and the sci-fi and fantasy uh, podcast, The Two Maters, um, with Joshua Morgan. So we're going to have tops specifically for those channels, and then like generic pick up the mic ones as well. So this is more of like a generic one because it's got the logos, it's got like the business or like I guess what we do is pick up the mic but if you are interested in getting that best way to do it is if you subscribe to being a YouTube member which the link's down below or Patreon member again link down below um, you can get a reduced rate or a discount but we will also be launching a shop with it so you can order it it will come in different sizes come in different colours uh, at least for now we're doing black and white I'm just trying to see which one like looks and works best I've got the black one obviously but for some of them we're going to just try out different stuff but yeah if you do want to receive it uh, make sure that you get in touch with us and we'll let you know when all that's come out but um yeah I think that's all of it for the for the outro and we're going to close it there yeah. uh, the, one of the cameras has, is, already done? has is done so we will see you all later um, yeah, wish you all the me. best no thank you so much and um, hopefully hopefully it won't be so long next no, time no 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 uh, definitely not and buy the merch buy the merch <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect cool